how are you doing? I haven't sat and filmed a video on this channel in quite a while. Um, so I wanted to chat with you a little bit. Um, I got a comment on my last try on haul video from Kohl's and I think your username was Tara Smiley. I'll put it here on the screen, but you recommended for me to try sharing what I'm buying or what I'm doing within a vlog style of video, not so formal. And I actually agree with that. Um, I wanted to just give that a try. So this is Kind of a day in the life vlog style um i don't really know <laughs> but i do have some plans that i want to take you guys with me um, shopping later on this evening so i wanted to give this a try thank you tara for recommending that i have some tea here that i'm drinking i'm drinking out of this mug well actually i have like two sips left can you see that in the very bottom <laughs> because i'm almost done but this is a mug that i got from emma bridgewater if you're not familiar emma bridgewater is a handmade pottery um collection or line at in the uk space in the uk they actually have extremely fast shipping to the us if you ever want anything but this is the mug that they made for the platinum jubilee for queen elizabeth can you see the little corgi on here it is adorable so i wanted to get this one i had to have this so that is what I'm drinking, my um, jasmine green tea, my last sip of jasmine green tea. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think about this type of style of video. I don't really, I've tried vlogging here on the pat in the past and it's kind of hit or miss, um, but I feel like, I, 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 to be honest, this, I don't really know what to do with this channel because I feel like everyone kind of is all over the place now and there's TikTok and there's Instagram and Instagram is now a video platform and I haven't really been on Instagram very often and I just don't know what, um, where to show up and I personally am a YouTube Fan. I have been on this platform since 2010 when I worked at Blue Mercury. I had just um, I had just left Disney and I was a performer at Disney and then I worked at Blue Mercury. After that, I went to school for fashion and retail management and my dream was to have an online clothing boutique and this was back in 2006 and um and so well I didn't work at Blue Mercury then I worked at Blue Mercury in 2010 but back in 2006 that was my lifelong goal and dream I had a style blog back then called style frenzy and that was back on the do you guys remember I think it was blogger blogspot that platform it I'm editing this video and I went to see if blogger was still around and apparently my old Glamour Wonderland blog is still there. Although when I click on view blog, it says I need a host. But look, all of these old posts that I did back, look at the date, 2012. Oh my gosh, nail of the day. Do you remember those? This is hilarious. I can't find it. I mean, I don't, I don't think that I have it. It's not available to see anymore, but um, I just heard some, oh. I'm by myself, but I heard something in the other room. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's the washing machine that I had on. Oh my gosh, okay, that scared me. Anyways, um, why was I saying that to you? Well, I guess I was saying that's why I started this channel, and I just have always, I'm always drawn to watching vlogs on YouTube, and um, you know, it's especially during all of this crazy season when we've been home a lot more often. I found people that I just enjoy watching, um, Miranda Mills being one of them, and she helped reignite my love of reading and books and um, collecting classics. So if you're looking for a good um, book you know if you enjoy reading highly recommend Miranda Mills but anyways I like watching vlogs and videos like that so I thought that I would just try that here see what you think I still have my vlog channel with my husband that is not going anywhere if you watch that thank you so much for watching those videos they are mostly focused around the theme parks and things to do here um, around Orlando so that's mostly over there but over here I just thought I would share what I do in my day-to-day -day life and um, yeah, later on today we're going to go shopping and I need to get some hair products from Sephora, pick up the refill from L'Occitane, see what else we can find. And yeah, so I guess I have, I'm actually waiting, I get a text message when it arrives. Okay, it's not here yet. But um, ooh, we do have a heat advisory. Wow. <laughs> but it's so hot here. What's the weather like where you live? Here it is 
crazy hot. Like the heat index is well over 100 degrees. So I'm trying to stay indoors as much as possible. But anyways, um, I'm waiting for a Thrive Market order to arrive. If you're not familiar with Thrive Market, it's kind of like a healthy Costco online. So you pay a monthly membership. I think it's $60 for the year, not monthly yearly sixty dollars and then you get um different things at a discounted rate i'll link it down below um but yeah i'm waiting for an order i'll share with you what i got there if you're interested but i just thought that it would be fun to try something new and chat with you see how you've been um i have been very sporadic here with my uploads and i know that i've had a few comments because i did create a video or i filmed a video in 2020 where i said i wasn't going to upload on this channel anymore and um I sat with that for a little bit but to be honest I really needed to see who I am without this um and I worked on myself I spend a lot of time just doing things that aren't online because it be can become a very cloudy space when you're constantly doing things on the internet if it's hard to remain authentic and true to yourself and know who you are outside of that um, or validation. And that sounds kind of bad, but I mean, it is it is like that. It's a very, um, social media in general can become very toxic. And I think you have to be really mindful of that and know who you are outside of what you create. So yeah. I think that this will be fun. I can't promise you how short this will be because if I'm sharing throughout my day, it may be kind of long. So let me know what you think about that. So I guess I'm gonna get some emails done. I do have a few more things to do here. Today is Friday, so it's my admin day. Um, so I'm gonna do some emails here, wait for my Thrive Market order to arrive. Once that gets here, I'll share with you what I got. And I'll see you in just a bit. I'm trying to decide what to wear when we go out to go shopping later on. I think I'm gonna change into this dress. This will be a little bit cooler than what I have on. Either this one or even this one. Just I feel like a dress is a lot cooler than just having on shorts and this top, which is kind of a quarter length sleeve or I have them pushed up. But this um, blouse is from uh, Loft. So I think I got this in 2020, um, but it's very comfortable. It's sheer, so it is, Pretty lightweight. And then I also have on these high-waisted shorts from Old Navy. So these are all um, dresses that I like to keep out because I've been wearing them more often. But on this side, I have some of the items that I've posted recently to Poshmark. So sadly, I had to post this beautiful needle and thread dress that I thought that I would have forever, but I cannot fit into it anymore. I gained a little bit of weight over um, the pandemic and I just feel like I need to say goodbye to her because it makes me very sad that I cannot wear it right now. Um, but I also put up this Gal Meets Glam. This still has the tags attached. I purchased this from a Facebook group that I'm in, but I sadly do not fit into this dress. It just didn't look right on me. I'll try it on and show you what you think and see what you think. Um, and then also this one as well, it just doesn't fit anymore. It's a petite, what is this one? This one is a zero zero, a double zero petite. So yeah, that one doesn't fit anymore either. I haven't posted this Zelda dress yet because I still can wear this one and I don't know if I'm ready to part with her because this is one of my favorite dresses from Gal Meets Glam. And if you don't know, Gal Meets Glam no longer um, is around, so this is something that I will never be able to get again unless I buy it used. But I do have this Reese um, jumpsuit that I purchased when we were in Miami um, a few years ago, and I've only worn it a couple of times. I just feel like I wasn't tall enough for it. So if you don't know, I'm five feet and it just didn't, the waist, it just always looked awkward on me for some reason. I'm sad to let it go because it was, it's so nice and it's just such a gorgeous piece. Um, really versatile. 
I don't know what's happening behind me, but I wanted to show you what this looked like on. So as you can tell, it is too small on top of the buttons are kind of like puckering open a little bit and it's just not very flattering on my silhouette. It's very, um, it's just too long. The waist doesn't sit quite right on me because this isn't a petite and unfortunately it just doesn't work but I just put it on with my espadrilles which is how I would wear it um, if it did work but yeah so I wanted to show you what it looked like I'm putting it on my Poshmark because I got it on Facebook on a Facebook group so I priced it just so that I can make the money back um, after taking out what Poshmark takes um, so yeah if you're interested it's a gorgeous new with tag gla gal meets glam dress it just doesn't work for me unfortunately oh but it has pockets which is very important what are you doing silly 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 he's flipping all around do you want to say hello say hello say hello how are you <laughs> he just woke up and he's always a little bit feisty when he wakes up Okay, our Thrive Market order has arrived. And one thing I wanna point out is that they always sign it, whoever packaged your box, which I think is a really nice touch. I've already opened it. I took the um, brown paper out. They use brown paper, so it's recyclable. Um, I really appreciate their packaging. I will say though, I ordered some probiotic, which I already had in my refrigerator or I already took out and put in my refrigerator because they seal it in these chill packs or what they call it. And it's a very thick padded envelope with what's supposed to be a cool pack inside. And I will say it was completely melted and definitely no longer cool inside. So, I mean, I can't really expect for it to stay cold because I do live in Florida. So, um, I could get this brand from Whole Foods. This is the Mega Flora, uh, Mega Food, but these were on a great sale on the um, Thrive Market. So I just picked them up there. Um, but you do have to just keep that in mind. So they will go and uh, probiotics are supposed to stay chilled. Certain ones are supposed to stay chilled to keep the um, bacteria strains alive. Now, I don't think that it's gonna be terrible, but just keep that in mind if you ever want to order probiotics online. I'm gonna go run and put these back in the refrigerator. I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I got are the Corella tablets and this is from sun food superfoods so these i like to just put a few in a smoothie it's got a lot of iron and because i am anemic i have to have a lot of iron um, which is uh really good uh corolla is really good for that so oh my gosh now my battery's blinking sorry this feels like such a mess okay hold on okay fresh battery Let's try this again. Um, Thrive Market will have a free gift with purchase a lot of times depending on what you're buying, how much you're spending, and I picked this out as my free gift. I'll take it out of the plastic. So I guess they put this plastic on just in case it leaks because it is full of water, which I'll let that slide because they typically are pretty good with their packaging. But this is Artichoke Delights. So it says that these are ready to use, ideal for appetizers, salads, cooking, or tapas. So I thought that maybe I could just put these in a salad or grill them. Sounds really good. Um, I love artichoke and I've never tried anything from this brand before. The next thing in here is a large bag of coffee. So I really love, Matt and I both love the Thrive Market coffee. Recently though, I'm on a matcha uh, tea kick. So I've been having matcha instead. Um, but when I do have coffee, this is very good. It's an organic blend, a breakfast blend. Hey, come. See what's else is in here. Oh, this is 
Gaia Herbs, St. John's Wort, and this is um, a supplement that Matt takes. It says it helps you stay feeling sunny and vibrant, traditionally for supporting emotional health. His therapist recommended this to him. He's been taking it. You do have to be consistent, he said, to um, see any sort of or feel any effects, um, but it just helps you uplift your mood a little bit. He really likes these. I've not tried them, um, but I have had the tea before that has a St. John's wort. Okay, next in here, this is the last item. Oh, I forgot I got these. This is the Charlotte's Web um, CBD gummies. So I am a big fan of CBD, another thing that kind of helps to calm and it's not really a mood uplifting thing or anything like that. It just helps to stabilize. If you struggle with anxiety like myself, then CBD is great. Um, these are the lemon lime flavor. It's 10 milligrams. It doesn't have the um, THC. It's not a drug or anything like that. Um, what does it say? So it helps to ease everyday stresses, relieves tension in your body and mind with these bite size treats. If you've got these, relax. You got this. Um, this is a more expensive brand, but I do feel like there's, I've tried a lot of different gummies in the past and I always go back to Charlotte's Web um, just because they have um, really good practices in the way that they grow it and their ingredients. Um, if you have any that you think that I should try, let me know. I'm always looking for new ones to try. I saw that Martha Stewart has her own line of CBD, which I thought was kind of cool. This is what they look like. So they look like little gummy candies. And I think you're supposed to take two. These have tapioca syrup, beet sugar, um, not a ton of ingredients and very good, um, not compared to what it could be, you know what I mean? Um, so I think you take two gummies once per day. So let's take them now, shall we? And you get to see my face because I'll be honest. Even though it says lemon lime, it's not great, but it is helpful. Yeah, that's a very small haul from Thrive Market, but um, yeah. I'm going to go and put away the groceries now, refill my water bottle, and I'll check back in with you in just a bit. getting ready to leave to go to Disney Springs to go shopping so I wanted to show you my dress I just put on this dress it's from Old Navy and it's actually a petite so if you order online you can get their petite selection so I ordered this when they were having one of their many many sales I think I got it 50% off but I love the fabric because it's really lightweight and it's kind of that crinkle fabric that doesn't get wrinkled and then I just paired it with my white um, uh, Steve Madden slide on. So that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, because it's supposed to rain or it's already raining, I think, over there. So, yeah, I don't want to wear sandals, even though I would typically wear this with sandals. But I love this dress because it has pockets, really comfortable and easy to wear. Just throw on and go. And I have to get him all set up. I have this um, X pin and then I connect this, his crate to that and we kind of set him up in the other room when we go places, right buddy? Right? It's all right, say we'll be back. <laughs> On the way to Disney Springs and look who joined me. Hey y'all. It's Matt. I'm here. <laughs> he just got off of work and you have a couple of things to pick up from Target, or Target, what? Sephora. <laughs> yeah, just one, one thing. One the, thing. Uh, I got hair paste. Oh, yeah. He uses the, it's the sumo clay, right? Sumo clay, yeah. Yeah, the sumo clay. Um, bumble and bumble. Bumble and bumble. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of things to pick up from Sephora, and then I want to go to L'Occitane and get a refill of my favorite lavender bubble bath and look around a little bit more. So far, it was raining a little bit, and then it stopped, and now we have a little clearing in the clouds, but I did just get some alerts on my phone saying that it's raining in the direction that we're headed, so I don't know if we're going to miss the rain. I think we might get there right in time as the rain, which is fun. 
I can't tell where we're going versus where it's raining right now, so. It's kind of like all around yeah. us in like a horseshoe yeah. situation here, uh, the cloud. So, I don't know. But that's just kind of the dance we have to play in Florida. Yep, during this time of year, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. go to Disney Springs. I feel like in the evenings, especially during the summer and most year round, they have live music. So we stopped and listened to music for a little bit. I want to show you everything that I got at Disney Springs. Let me start first with what I got from L'Occitane. I love going in there. Everyone who works there is always so kind and just so much fun. Um, it's such a beautiful store here too. She actually sprayed the tissue with cherry blossom and it just smells so good. The whole time we were walking around after I got this at Disney Springs, it's all I could smell. So here is the refill for the bubble bath that I use. So I love this about L'Occitane is they're, um, they're good about recycling. Um, I think that this says, yeah, 82% less packaging. Um, so they're really good at um, limiting plastic, having refillable products. So I love getting this. Actually, let me go and get the bottle that it originally, um, or that you refill so you can see what that looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. So it's this beautiful metal bottle, which is really nice and sturdy. And so you just pop off the cap and pour the bag inside. And I love this. It smells so nice. And it's not an artificial smelling lavender, which I find some of them tend to be. Um, this is just a beautiful, very subtle lavender fragrance, which I appreciate. Um, so I love to have that for when I indulge in a bath. And then, and I've actually been out for a while, so I needed to go, I kind of just waited a little bit. I also picked up these. Oh, she was nice enough to give me a bunch of samples too, which I'm excited to try. I have used shampoo bars in the past and I like them because you use less packaging. So it's basically just a bar of soap and I've never tried the ones from L'Occitane. Um, I tried, I, I used to use Lush, um, the Godiva, I think 
wait, what was that? not Godiva chocolate, was it? I don't remember. It was a yellow one. If I can find it online, I'll put it on the screen. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I used it for years and I loved it. Um, and I've always wanted to try and find another solid shampoo because these obviously have no waste. So I wanted to try, I got two. I wasn't sure which one to get. So this is the intensive repair. This one is for damaged hair or hair basically like mine if you style it with heat products, um, heat products, heat styling tools if you um, highlight it, dye it, you know. And so this is what the bar looks like. Let me see. Mm, it smells so nice. It's a very subtle light fragrance, very fresh. A little bit um, kind of similar to their Shea if you're, um, if you know what their Shea hand wash and stuff smells like, it smells kind of like that, a little bit different. So this is 100% recycled packaging as well. And then I also got this one. This is the purifying bar. So I wanted to pick up this one because I needed, I do like to use an intensive repairing, really hydrating shampoo, but I also like something that I can use once a week when I feel like I need to clarify my hair. And this kind of sounded like that. It's a purifying bar and let's see what this one, oh, this one's blue. So it looks like this, mm, it smells a little different. This one smells a little bit more musk uh, forward. Yeah, this one smells, this one smells a little bit more like powdery. It says that it's got 100% natural essential oil. So this one's thyme, grapefruit, mint, lavender, and cedar. And then let's see what this one says. This one is Angelica Ylang Ylang, sweet orange, lavender, and geranium. The geranium is probably what I smelled, which is really nice floral. I'll keep you guys updated on how I like these. Solid shampoos are hit or miss. Sometimes you find that they're not lathering enough. Sometimes they're drying. So I'll let you know what I think about these for sure. Um, but I'm excited about trying those. And then she also gave me some samples of some of their skincare. Really nice. Oh, I've actually tried this before. This is the um, gel. I think I've actually showed this in a video many years ago. You can see that. I really like this product. It's a little bit too lightweight for me now, um, but I've used it in the past and really liked it. So let's move on to Sephora. I went ahead and got another bottle of the Olaplex number no. three. I love to use this before I wash my hair. So I don't wash my hair every day. I try to go every other day or every three days. Um, and I'll put this on and kind of tie it in a low bun and do what I need to do, get my workout in. Um, it says that you have to leave it on for 10 minutes, but I find I just try and leave it on as long as I can. Um, on damp hair and it really helps to repair your hair. It smooths everything down. I'm sure you've heard of this before. It's a very popular product. So I got another one of number three and then they had number nine, which I don't think I've used this one before. So I got this instead of number six, but I saw that this one said it had a heat protectant in it and I decided to get this instead of the number six. I'll see how it goes. I really liked my routine that I've been doing with the number three and six after I wash <laughs> my hair when I get out of the shower. So we'll see if you, if any of you have tried number nine, let me know what you think. And then I had enough points. I haven't used my points in so long. I actually had a more leftover after this, um, but this is a Kiel set that I got which I used to, um, this was one of the brands that I sold when I worked at Blue Mercury many, many, many years ago, but I loved the avocado eye cream. And then they also have the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I love that product. So I'm gonna use that, I'm very excited about it. And the Ultra Facial Cleanser, it's one of their best-selling products and the Ultra Facial Clean Cream, <laughs> Facial Cream um, with squalene. So I haven't, I don't think I've tried that, but I do know that we sold a ton of that. Um, so let me show, let's see how big these are. Surprisingly, they're a pretty decent size. I feel like this is a good deluxe size sample. You know, you always get maybe a few uses of this mask. I think I could probably stretch the eye cream and use this for a little bit longer because that's a good bit of eye cream inside of here. So I'm excited about this. I forgot that I had points. I feel like it's always hit or miss though, isn't it? Sometimes they have 
good thing, sometimes not so great. Oh, and if you're curious, this is the product that Matt uses in his hair. It's a Sumo Clay. Um, this is another brand that I sold when I worked at Blue Mercury, um, but they actually didn't have this. They had the Sumo Tech, which is a little more shiny. This one's a matte finish, and it's just a moldable clay. Sometimes I'll use it. Ooh, that was loud. Sometimes I'll use it to smooth down these little flyaways that I have from putting my glasses on top of my head, which I know you're not supposed to do, and I always do it. Okay, I'm very excited about this last thing that I got from Anthropology. There's a backstory. I have this coffee table book, which is one of my favorite designer books by Mark D. Sykes. If you do not know who he is, he just does beautiful, beautiful decor, but he's known for his very timeless decor style, and I appreciate that. I just think it's beautiful. Um, he's got a really good eye and I love following his Instagram account. I just think he's great. So I had no idea that he did a collaboration with Anthropology, and it was 20% off today. So I, as soon as I saw it, I had to get this coffee mug. Look at that. It's starting to get really dark, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but it is beautiful and it has this texture to it i don't know if you can tell but i always love the mugs at anthropology such great quality and look at how pretty oh i just love it so much i also got these gorgeous blue and white bowls and these were also on sale for 20 percent off it really matches everything that we already have very well so i thought that this would be a nice piece to get and i love how it's kind of uneven if you can see on the top is just gorgeous. We're sitting down to eat and I wanted to show you guys what Matt made while I was in there showing you everything. He did all of this. So we have chicken thighs, some roasted um, yellow squash and zucchini, sauteed collard greens, and I think you did lemon juice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil maybe. Olive oil, I kind of used the leftover for whatever I did for the um, squash. Okay little green onion and olive oil and lemon juice. So good. And then this was actually something we just warmed up that we had a few days ago. I made a celery root and potato, kind of mashed, mashed potato, but it's got celery root in it. And yes, this looks delicious. Thank you so much, Matt. And yes, we're holding our dog at the dinner table. We are those well, people. It's our child. Down, <laughs> even though he will get back up. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for making dinner. Of course. Okay, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm not sure how long this is. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of going with it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments with this style of video. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts or if there's anything that you would like to see, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna finish up dinner and then probably watch a little bit of Stranger Things maybe season four have mm -hmm. you seen season four yet it's really good super intense and dark though <laughs> a lot more dark than um the last time but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thank you for being here and for being patient with me during this crazy time i hope that you all are well um and yeah i will see you soon bye